everyone. This is Kareem. Hey, everybody. It's Matt. Welcome to episode 141 of Snack Minute. Uh, today, we're delving into a little bit different area than we're used to, which is the data center. Um, I know we talk a lot about automating technologies and different uh, areas around campus networking and enterprise networking. Um, in DC, we touch on sometimes, especially when Quinn's around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, we're actually delving into the higher level certification, CCNP and CCIE uh, for the data center. Um, and we have a couple of special guests with us. We have Eskrin and Summit. Would you guys, uh, Eskrin, go first. Why don't you uh, introduce yourself? Uh, okay, so my name is Iskra Nikolov. Uh, together with Summit, we are uh, content engineers for the uh, Cisco data center and cloud and collaboration content development team. I'm a CCA, also a CCSI. I'm a Cisco certified uh, instructor. I also used to be a Microsoft certified trainer. I worked on the field for many years. I started uh, working for a huge Cisco customer. After that, I worked for a Cisco Golden Partner for many years. Then for more than 12 years, I was uh, an instructor. And for the last five years, I'm part of this team. Oh, wow. That's a really impressive resume. It's great. Glad to have you on. Uh, Somit, would you mind you. Uh, introducing yourself? Yeah, Matt. So myself, Somit Malu, and I work with this grand in data center and cloud team as a content engineer. And I started my career in Cisco like more than a decade ago, like 13 years back when I started as a tech engineer. And from past 13 years, I am working dedicatedly only on data center networks most of the time. So I was a tech lead for uh, Nexus switches, uh, Nexus team in tech. And then I also worked as a HTE high touch engineer for Microsoft account from Cisco side. And for last decade, I'm working in learning and certifications, uh, data center and cloud team as a content engineer. And I have around five CCIs and I also have CCD. Whoa, five CCIs? Yeah, <laughs> Hello. yeah, yeah, five CCIs and CCD also. And along with that, I have two expert certification from VMware, BCIX in data center and uh, network virtualization and a couple of other certifications like RHCS, Red Hat uh, certifications, AWS certifications, and all those, yeah. Well, so I'm, um, I, go ahead, Kareem. <laughs> no, no, I, I was just going to say that's, it's pretty impressive. And I, you know, I don't, I don't know how, how you've done five CCIEs. I'm, I'm trying to do one and it's just, it's so time consuming. Um, but I, you know, that's kind of gives me the motivation that I can do it, but I wanted to, I know you guys are here for, um, you just recently wrote a book together, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, do you want to tell right. us and tell us snackers a little bit about what it is and, and, uh, what's this? What what is what did you put your name on? Yeah, so it's basically a data center core uh, certification official cert guide, and this is the second edition where me, Isken, and Firaz collaborated. And the first edition, me and Firaz wrote the first edition like in 2020, like a couple of years back. And since Cisco Learning and Certifications team, they are updating the blueprint every six months or one year as the technology you know changes so we decided to update the book so that students can benefit who are uh, preparing for the certification and this book uh, specifically specifically is for 35601 exam uh, which tests the knowledge of one's knowledge of implementing core data center technologies including network compute storage network automation and security yeah, it's uh, it's uh, the book uh, mainly caters for DC core certification, which is a 120 minute exam from Cisco certifications team, and it accounts for your CCNP and CCI data center certifications. So this is the core paper which one has to take if they want to pursue CCNP or CCI in data center realm. So given uh, given all of your uh, both Iskren and, and Summit's history of going through certifications and then also providing um, uh, content to support certification. Um, you know, we go through the process of talking about a lot of the digital um, learning that we have through either Cisco U or DevNet or learning and certifications. And, um, you know, we don't really talk about the books that often. Um, I, I have 
gone through the uh, CCNA prep book. I think I have it over here somewhere. Um, and uh, one of the wireless certification books as well. And I did find them helpful, but I guess um, for for you guys, uh, you know, what what value can you uh, provide to our to our uh, listeners? I <laughs> like we're on a podcast uh, to our watchers, I guess, um, about how potentially adding a book to their preparatory materials uh, can be helpful. Personally, the way that I see it is that uh, uh, during my uh, years of uh, teaching the Cisco technologies and uh, the, the Microsoft Azure and all of that stuff, uh, you, you have different people. The, the people, they uh, accept and process the information in different way. So uh, working certifications, they are always dedicated to providing all of the possible formats and means for uh, the engineers from the customers, the partners to, to prepare themselves for the uh, exams and especially the DC core, this level of exams, they are very, uh, how to say, uh, they're, they're big exams, if I can use this word, not to, to yeah. use uh, very tough exams, not to sound scary. Uh, because they, they cover, you know, they cover the data center technology, and the data center technology, no matter that nowadays, stays kind of in the background when we use, you know, mm -hmm. uh, more terms about, you know, the more uh, fancy stuff like uh, clouds, like uh, AI, all of that stuff. So at the end of the day, uh, we we need to have a processing power. You know, this is, you know, the the the. the Fundament that carries all of the new technologies, the whole stack up to the uh, applications level. So uh, uh, to go back, sorry about uh, you know moving in that direction, but to go back to why we uh, decided to go ahead with this format is there are people that first of all like to uh, process the information by reading books, right? There are mm -hmm. other people that like to go on a self-paced uh, e-learning. Other people, they like to get away from their work, to totally isolate, to sit in a classroom, virtual or on-site with an instructor. So different ways. But also the book here offers um, uh, uh, additional tools to help you uh, very quickly to check the information, to, to memorize the information and all of that. And I think that Summit there has much more details, right? Yeah, so basically why we chose to write the book in the first place, because with Portfolio 2.0 evolution in learning and certifications, like back in 2020, there was a need for official cert guide in the market which students can use to prepare for the DC course certification because DC course certification was part of uh, portfolio 2.0 evolution back in 2020. And also I have worked mostly in data center realm and I have seen data center product evolve very closely from the launch of Cisco Nexus, which is back in 2008 to introduction of Cisco ACI in 2014 and so on. So with the evolution of data center products, uh, the Cisco data center certification also evolved. And I was lucky enough to be part of this evolution at every step of the process. Uh, with all the experience I gained working as a content engineer for more than a decade, I felt that I should share the knowledge with others <laughs> who are interested in learning how to configure and manage data center products by writing a book on data center core technologies. and. Uh, who else to get hold of? Iskan, who is an experienced CCI, CCSI, and he has experience in teaching uh, Cisco technologies for more than a decade. So, yeah, then we thought let's collaborate for the second edition. And uh, yeah, I know you, Iskan was talking about the, you know, the different ways of learning. Um, but if I were, you know, I'm I'm going into I've done some DC in in the past, and I'm trying to go to the next level with DC Core. Um, what would be, which which avenue would be more tied to the blueprint that I should start with, and obviously next jump to the because there's I think there is a there's an aspect of e-learning that you get, which is the hands-on portion with the labs and the access to, to infrastructure to do this, but I don't think the book has itself, right? Like it talks about it, but I'm not sure you do get access and I could be wrong, I don't know. Um, but what right. would, you know, from your expertise, if somebody's going through this, what would be the right kind of route 
to to accomplish that certification. Right. Right. So me and Iskan were both involved in developing the e-learning for uh, DC Core also. Mm -hmm. So right. in e-learning, what we focus on is uh, we we try to cover everything in Blueprint, but we try to cover something more in e-learning uh, with hands-on lab. And in e-learning, we try to teach through labs where student get to where students get to learn the technology by doing hands-on labs uh, on different technologies but sometimes uh, you want to see everything arranged in a way that you can refer you know whenever you want and in a sequential manner because in e-learning what uh, we are we are trying to do is sometimes everything is not covered in e-learning because we try to cover everything in five days but if you see if you see for ilt or elt like instructor led training it's not mostly a five day class so dc core is huge it it has a lot of topics and a lot of technologies to cover and five days are not enough to cover everything in dc core technologies so that's where we place the book and book covers everything from uh, the very first topic to the last topic of uh, DC Core Blueprint. And along with that, there are some key features which book provides. For example, it has, uh, do I know this already quizzes where a student can check where actually which topics they are lagging behind and they can skip some topics and they can, you know, concentrate on something which they are not, uh, you know, acquainted with or not good at for the time being. And um, we also, in the book, you will also see there are key topics listed. So when you are reading a chapter, for example, there is a 50 page chapter, but out of those 50 pages, there will be like 15 or 20 places, paragraphs where the key topic icon will be there in the book. When you are revising for the exam, you can't read the whole book just a day before the exam, right? So then <laughs> those key topic markers will help you. So. It also helps you to revise faster the book. And uh, along with that, uh, we also have included a final chapter in the book, which uh, guides reader through tools and resources to craft test taking strategies. So that is something which you will get in a book, but in e-learning, we have like modules, sections, and you go through those labs and you learn one by one. But when it comes to exam, there are, some like specific key points in the book which will help you prepare for the exam at the last minute so cream it sounds like you actually need to get the book to pass the test yeah, it like, yeah that's probably the right route there um we don't we don't have a lot of time left um so i just wanted to kind of peek behind the curtain a little bit and have you guys talk about uh, the process of actually writing a book, because as I understand it, this is outside your actual job. Like this is a labor of love for you, correct? Right. So yeah, it it takes a lot of time for writing a book. Like it, uh, the first DC Core edition, it took around like nine or ten months. So all my weekends were devoted to writing the book, and once I am done with my office work, and most of the time I was writing the book. So yeah, the first time it's very hard, but once it is done, then second edition, third edition, they are just uh, like we are. We are just Edits adding here and there, one right? or two new chapters. Yeah, yeah, here and there. So then it becomes easy. the The first time when you are so me and Iskan, our this is not the only book we have written together. So we have also written uh, written data center fundamentals book, which covers the fundamentals because DC Core is something which goes a level above uh, the fundamentals mm -hmm. because it is targeting CCNP professional and expert certifications. So yeah, we have also written a book called Data Center Fundamentals, which helps students to bridge the gap from CCNA to CCNP data center. And what yeah. is what is your experience, Iskran? You, you know, some men go fishing, right? <laughs> but, but, uh, are you one of those uh, fishermen? <laughs> uh, no, no, obviously, we are here discussing the, the writing of a book. Uh, you, you know, this is uh, how, how to say, uh, when you write a book uh, uh, and when you volunteer your time, 
you actually have much more freedom and flexibility to present you know the the content the way that you see it so there with together with summit we had this this kind of a freedom of course following and trying to cover everything from the blueprint because the technology does not stand still and it develops so we need to provide you know the most up-to-date uh, information but we had that option and uh, so we not only updated the content from the first edition but also there were uh, chapters that we had to rework them totally because of flow issues and such stuff just we saw that from the first edition it will make more sense to, to change it and it is a huge personal satisfaction uh, yeah i was leading a team of uh, uh, almost 30 engineers back at the Cisco Golden Partner. And uh, there being a partner of Cisco, for us, the most valuable uh, and precious thing was to get information about the new technologies from Cisco. So now it is, you know, a dream fulfilled for me to provide such information. Yeah. <laughs> How come we never write a book, man? Um, uh, I'm not sure I'm willing to give up my weekends and evenings yet. <laughs> you haven't received a call from Summit this way. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. That's> true. <laughs> or the true answer is I'm not smart enough. Um, <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, we are running out of time and you guys are first timers. Uh, so we do have to ask the question. I'll ask Iskren to go first. Um, what superpower would you choose to have and why? To be able to, uh, manipulate time right the time bender oh, okay yeah yeah that I would make it more, easier to write books more time. yeah <laughs> yeah and, uh, more importantly to learn because the moment that you stop to learn you stop to develop so this is yeah. spot on actually yeah we should we should put that on a t-shirt somewhere yeah that's my favorite one <laughs> yeah. uh summit how about you, you you're you're on the spot now in, ca in case Eskrin took yours <laughs> no, so actually, uh, like when I was young, like uh, back in my 20s, so we, we used to watch a Japanese cartoon named Doraemon. And there was a character called Nobita who was not good in studies. And the, and Doraemon was a robot from the 21st century. And uh, Nobita asked, oh, can you give me some superpower? And uh, Doraemon said, okay, I will give you the superpower to read any book but just by touching it. So I have a, like more, more than like 200 books, which is in my bucket list I have to read. And um, I am I, not getting enough time with all like writing three books and take, uh, working, <laughs> working for learning and certifications department and all. So if, if you ask me, I would like to that. So I would like to have that superpower when I touch a book and I get all the information from the book. So yeah, that will really help me, you know? So yeah. Uh, I can take I can check my bucket list. Yeah. It's like downloading that. from the matrix, right? Getting plugged in and then just downloading the book in your head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's awesome. Um, so I've I've actually gleaned a lot from this conversation. Snackers, I hope you have too. Um, check out Summit Niskrin's book if you are interested in the uh, CCMP DC and CCIE DC, um, the the DC core exam 35601. Uh, it sounds like this book would be a huge help if you're bridging the gap between CCNA and Data Center. Um, also, check out their DC Fundamentals book as well. Um, I actually might go grab that one. That one sounds yeah. crazy interesting. Thank you guys so much for your time. Snackers, thank you, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, Snackers. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank, thank you. you.